you're having a great Friday. So it has been requested to see how to set up for a uh, barbell hip thrust whenever the bench is too high. So hypothetically speaking, let's say I'm not spoiled and don't have a hip thruster in my garage and I'm having to use a bench that's too high so that whenever I sit on the floor, it's kind of like this and the bench is at like the top of my shoulders instead of where we need to be on the edge of the bench, which is below the shoulder blades. So here's where you, here would be a much better starting position. But like I said, the bench is too high, you're gonna be here. So how do you fix that? So what you can do is you can take a bumper plate, a, a foam pad, something like that, put it down so that you're sitting on it and now you're automatically in the right position with the bottom of your shoulder blades on the edge of the bench to pivot from. Let's say though, if you're someone like myself who has really thick thighs, Thick thighs save lives. And you can't now get the bar over your legs like I can due to sitting on this bumper plate. So then you have to rig, you can grab, so I'm gonna use these uh, thick pads here. They're like three quarters inch thick. You can also use more bumper plates similar to what I'm sitting on. So now, whenever you go to get into position, you can easily roll it over your thighs. You're in a good position, and then you can start your set from here. And while we're already here, one more thing on your hip thrust that I've recently accidentally come across is that if you back your bench up to a wall, like how it gets this uh, garage door here, it makes you keep your chin tucked, which is the best position for doing hip thrust, because if you don't keep your chin tucked, and you're looking up, your neck is gonna get really tired, even more so than your glutes, and your glutes are the target on this exercise, so we don't want that to happen. So, by scooting up against a wall, or my garage door here, it forces you to keep your chin tucked and looking straight ahead like this, because if you don't, you're gonna hit the wall. And it's probably not gonna feel good and you won't do it again. But yeah, just a couple of uh, setup tips for your hip thrust. That's it.